season one, I improvised the line, um, and I'm so sorry I have to say this out loud, uh, <laughs> you played my butt like jazz, <laughs> with poise and skill and willingness to improvise. I remember they put a gun there, <laughs> aimed right at my face with fake blood in it, right. and I remember the director was like, we got one shot at this, um, <laughs> don't anticipate it. I'm such a huge fan of The Boys. And I think it's an understatement to say that this show is wild. This is a show in which a speedboat plows into a whale, in which a room full of people's heads burst open. When you're part of a show that has these big dramatic moments and these outlandish scenarios, what is the best or most memorable bit of direction or an acting note that you've gotten? Memorable bit of like direction mm -hmm. in the show? Yeah. yeah. Well. Most memorable. It was like kind of the grossest, but it was when the Deke <laughs> was getting his like comeuppance in season one, um, like episode six or seven, when the girl was like assaulting him. <laughs> me. Oh, yeah. There's like a fake torso on top of me, and the director was like, camera's right there, and there had to be some, mm -hmm. there's a gill, and like, it hurts more. He was like, <laughs> scream louder. It hurts. You know? Like, ah, 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 can we stop now? <laughs> so it was, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was the weirdest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for me, it was it was the first time I was uh, in a scene where a head was exploding, and I was present. Right. Mm -hmm. In the in the hearing in the courtroom. Yeah. And I remember the direct. I remember they put a gun there, <laughs> aimed right at my face with fake blood in it. Right. And I remember the director was like, "We got one shot at this. Um, <laughs> don't. don't anticipate it." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." He's like, "Action." <laughs> Most memorable? <laughs> well, okay, I don't know if this is like a note or like a bit of direction, but it's something that I heard Laz Alonzo, who plays Mother's Milk, say. Mm -hmm. um, he, we shot the scene in the whale, like where we're inside yeah. the whale, and he's comforting me, and at, at one point, Midway through it, or, or after a take, he went, "Oh, it's so hot in here." Hey guys, can we uh, can we get some more AC in the whale? Like he wanted air conditioning in the whale, uh, something we did not have access to. But, uh, <laughs> something had told him that the whale was air conditioned, which is like that's the weirdest. It's the every part of that is odd to me, and I don't think I'll ever forget that. Yeah. But if the AC would have cut off, <laughs> and you were it's in the legendary status of the yeah. show, and it went through the roof, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> through the roof. We've all had like really strange experiences that would yeah. never happen on any other show for I'm sure, the yeah. rest of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> we had some pretty good yeah. stuff and some very um my, my very uh, second my second day on set was uh you yeah. when you ran through That Rama. was my first day. That was your first day. That was like my first day. like welcome to the show. Here you go. Here's yeah. some craziness. Yeah. 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 That was fun, man. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, fun, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> So I wanted to ask, how much room is there for improv on a show like this? And is there a scene or a line that you've improv that you're particularly proud of? You have to kind of nail the material mm -hmm. because it's so intentional, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah. once you kind of, once you get it, mm -hmm. you can run with it, and that's the beauty. That's the beautiful part yeah. about being on this show. Is like, mm -hmm. it's it is tough to get. You know, it's a it's a big meal. Like even for us on the day, kind of yeah. just like making sure that we're hitting all the all the elements and all the moments in there but like once you do find that groove mm -hmm. you can kind of take it almost anywhere and you know it's a huge blessing to be able to work oh. opposite people like Jack where mm -hmm. no matter where you go he's going to follow you you know or wherever he wants to try something I, I'm comfortable and we can kind of like work off of each other in that mm -hmm. way and yeah. then we just see what we get you know, we, a lot of times we end up in these like hybrid takes of what was on the page yeah. versus like, oh. where we went. I'm always so curious as to what they keep. Like if you do mm -hmm. improvise something, I'm like, oh wow, they kept that. Interesting. I never yeah, thought, yeah. I never thought <laughs> they would. They were like, uh, yeah. um, no, totally. The, the cast trusts each other so much mm -hmm. now that you can basically take it anywhere and, and the cast will roll with you. And then Eric Kripke has been so great mm -hmm. in, in terms of uh, letting us do our, you know, obviously nailing it and getting what's on the page down, but also having freedom to play around because I think my favorite things whenever I'm watching a movie or a TV mm -hmm. show is, is, is when I can tell that this isn't really scripted mm -hmm. and it's something just kind of that's fun happening in mm -hmm. the moment. Um, but in terms of favorite lines that I've improvised, um, season one, 
I improvised the line, um, and I'm so sorry I have to say this out loud. Uh, <laughs> you played my butt like jazz <laughs> with poise and skill and willingness to improvise. That, that was, um, it has the word improvise really? in it, actually. I uh, just thought about that. Um, yeah. What a line. What a line. <laughs> oh, what a line. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> what a show we work on. What a show. <laughs> what a show. They kept that in. They kept that in. I would have too. Yeah, I literally, when I do conventions, I sign that. They're like, you're a quote from the show. I'm like, you yeah, played my butt like jazz. jazz. <laughs> Classic you. I'm like, I love my life. This is great. <laughs> they let, they, could we let us, or let me, I mean, I have, like, I have some more like comedic stuff to mm. do, but he's always like, just get one, like the way it's written, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah. The only line that I always loved for some reason was like first season when the deep is banished to Sandusky, Ohio. And he's like, I'm like, Kevin, the guy's like showing him like, you know, there's the apartment and uh, there's like a Dairy Queen down the street. And deep's like, they got what, like lizards and stuff? <laughs> was that improv? That was improv. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember like throwing that out there, almost cracking up. And I'm like, I love that line. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, no, they're like, we'll get one little Something lizards and, and then stuff is what I remember. I don't know the exact line. I feel like there are a lot of improv lines that make it in there. They do. That's yeah. the thing. When you try the crazy, you're like, oh, wow, they, they're <laughs> using that stuff. So it's really, yeah. really fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The Boys is obviously great fun to watch, but I imagine it must be really tough to make because Chase, I imagine that you spend a lot of your time in water or talking to CGI animals. Claudia, you spend a lot of time covered in fake blood. Jesse, I imagine a lot of your role involves running very rapidly from one mark to the other mark. Yeah, Talk me through of some of the tough bits of this job. Well, slow down, you know, mm-hmm. that kind of helps. Um, yeah. It's slowed down, so we, we get to, well, I don't know, when you're covered in blood, then that's not really the best thing, is in, mm-hmm. in blood for 12 to 14 hours or whatever. Yeah, but you've been there, too, man. You've I've been, been in blood, blood. Yeah, yeah, you've been covered blood Yeah, it just gets really sticky and kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of fine if you do a scene, like, where you get covered in blood and then they cut to the new mm-hmm. scene, the next scene, like mm-hmm. it's at the end of the scene, but it's yes. hard when... You get covered in blood, and then they stay with your character for like a few scenes after that, because that means that you have to come in for weeks. Oh. And as you like every morning, get the blood reapplied <laughs> on you, and you just you stick to everything. You stick to your clothes. Yeah. It hurts to move. Yeah. It's that's the hard part. But um, Head and Shoulders shampoo, <laughs> uh, uh, shaving cream, and Dawn soap for some reason gets it out really well. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not being paid by Dawn. Mm-hmm. Just want to put that out there. <laughs> Yet. But if they're considering, <laughs> yeah, they're considering some to Toronto. Yeah, yeah, we would, I definitely need some. It's supposed to be good I, for the environment, too. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have to stop. We have to stop. We have to stop. Honestly, at some point throughout the day, when you're covered in fake blood, you just kind of, it's like, it's just like another part of the outfit. Right. I just walk around and I'm just like, anyway, I'm going to go to craft services. And I don't re, I don't, I forget that I just have like a face full of blood. Right, right, right. Like it's pulled over by the cops. Or like I'll FaceTime my dad and he'll be like, ah. And I'm like, oh, no, right. <laughs> but that's not difficult. I think mm-hmm. I just get used to that. Yeah. I mean, you think I would be, I thought I was going to be in like the water a lot. It's really just, you know, me mm-hmm. like. In the therapist's office, like talking about <laughs> the lobsters and like you know, and, or like in the in the, in the vodka boardroom, or you know, eating. Or you had a big scene, you know, eating obviously, you mm-hmm. know, for justice for Timothy. But um, yeah, so nothing too crazy. But it's, long days. It's always interesting when you have to imagine something happening, like right. from Lander, <laughs> when he takes off and he's like, <laughs> and, he's, and he's just standing there, <laughs> yeah. just doing that pose. But you've gone. <gasps> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you at varying points play characters who are unlikable. Um, you're introduced when you kill his girlfriend and this season Jack. Um, Huey is dealing with ma- his issues of masculinity which yeah. leads him to making some not so great choices. When you're playing a character that's unlikable, how do you approach it? Do you lean into their unlikability or do you find something about them to love? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Honestly, I, I tend to find something that I love about them. Because... I feel like it's very natural to like like or unlike someone in different scenarios, and mm-hmm. I feel like A Train kind of teeters that line a little bit. We see mm-hmm. him make really bad decisions, but for like good reason, mm-hmm. um, over and over and over again. So I kind of yeah. like being able to do a little bit of both, mm-hmm. you know. To when I do see something that I like about him, I like to really try to emphasize that. Mm-hmm. Be like it's not that bad, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though I know what's about to happen, but still, like it's it's nice to see him battle with that himself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same way. I, I think that's what I love about our show is every character is so dynamic. Like, even mm-hmm. if someone, like, someone as evil as Homelander, you still understand why he's yeah. doing the stuff he's doing. Right. Uh, in terms of, like, likability, 
I actually really I really enjoyed playing a not so likable version of Huey this season mm -hmm. um, because I don't know I feel like when you're when a character is more flawed they're more relatable you know mm -hmm. even if they're not as likable it's it's something you can relate to because everyone has flaws yeah. so I was like yes so excited to play <laughs> yeah. a way more flawed Huey I actually really really enjoyed it. I think it's very human to have unlikable qualities. I think mm -hmm. they're deeply flawed people and and. Uh, so it's not easy to play, but you can understand yeah, yeah, right. like where they're coming from or what their mm -hmm. struggle is or they're feeling very human feelings and having very human reactions. I mean, wrapped up in a very extreme packaging. But <laughs> so it's kind of easy to find that that part of a character. Right. I think the Kripke always talks about it to me as well, like when there's a lot of like absurdist moments, mm -hmm. clearly. I mean, you know. Dolphin, the octopus. He's always like, just the, he's like, dude. The, you know, the more nuanced and real you play it, like it's your, like it's, it's, it's your mistress. You know what I mean? Like the funnier yeah. <laughs> it is. Or with the, obviously the starlight stuff, that was a little more, a little more delicate. But I think with that, it was also like, this guy feels like he's entitled to this. Like, like, mm -hmm. like what? It's just the way it's always been. It's like a fraternity hazing or something. You know, I mean, in his mind, it's mm -hmm. very like ca more casual than she makes it, or that the uh, that it obviously comes across in the moment because he's so. Uh, Mm -hmm. disconnected and unself-aware and he's an asshole so that's sort of the way to do it but yeah but that like sort of gray nuanced area and with Newman it's also easy because like I feel like you, you ever get that feeling where you're in a social setting you have to you have to like run a <laughs> right, face right, right. or whatever mm -hmm. it is yeah, so, uh, like, sure. so it mm -hmm. looks like a very people do that in many situations so she just she's putting on whatever mask that is that day right yeah mm -hmm. yeah this thank you so much for your time guys thank it was so lovely much. talking to thank you, you. Thank, you yeah, thank you so much yeah. <laughs>